hey y'all i am back yes we just ended the last video of your essentials that you need for ups if you have not watched that video make sure you go watch that video but y'all okay so i have been at ups for 30 days now um oh before i say that welcome back to enjoy life i am joy if you are new make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video make sure you comment down below and make sure you share this video for somebody who might need it so y'all so my last video um before the essentials that you need for ups i was giving you my one week update and my one week update i told you guys how i had an anxiety attack at work and how the wrong packages was on the bell uh that was like leading up to it and um all of the stuff that like basically like caused the anxiety attack y'all let me tell y'all something that i found out so i'm not in that part of the um sorter line anymore i'm in the middle now so if you work at ups or you just started you know where that is so it's like a person at the top those people are called splitters then you have the people the people in the middle which i am now and so i send packages to about yeah so four trucks then is the person at the end which is where i used to be and they send packages to two trucks and really the person at the end should have the easiest um the person at the top should be splitting right so i can get my packages and then i split some more maybe to make sure she gets her packages okay y'all so remember i told y'all that a bunch of maryland boxes was on my belt and i was like they do not even belong on that line like the people at the bottom was messing up y'all i found out that it wasn't the people who was putting the packages on the belt it was the person before me who wasn't grabbing their packages and it was causing me to get all his packages and i had to like keep on putting them at the bottom so it was actually the people before me that weren't doing what they needed to do which was making it hard for me to get my packages by myself because I had to get their packages and send them down to shoot through recycling. So I just wanted to clear that up. Like <laughs> it was my team that was messing up. But anyway, y'all, so I made a new part on the line now. I am in the middle of the sorter line. And y'all, I don't do small sorts. I do like, I don't know what that kind of sorting is called, but it's a regular sort where you send the big packages, all the regular packages to the trucks so that they are loading so y'all now this position is not really that hard what happens is if the people at the top of the belt don't do what they need to do it makes it harder for you because you got to get your packages mind y'all tell you i do four trucks so if they don't do what they need to do by splitting it i have to get my packages plus i have to look on the wall to make sure those packages are good too before it gets to the last person on the line so some days it is okay and then other days it begins to be a lot because if somebody like stops the belt it may the people at the bottom never stop loading like they continuously load so if you stop the belt by the time you push the belt again there's a whole bunch of packages coming to you then it's hard to sort through because it's not in the line no more now it's stuff everywhere and you got to be like picking stuff up trying to like flip it and also if they don't have the um packages flipped up where you can see the labels that makes it hard too so if you are working at ups and you're on the sorting line please put the packages where people can read the labels because even if it gets busy if i can see the labels that makes it easier for me but the labels are flipped over not only do i have to find my packages but i also have to flip packages over to see where they belong y'all see that um the thing floating anyway so yeah like the other night i think it was like last week it was horrible because <clears throat> sometimes the person at the top of the line will stop it so they can make sure like they get it right which seems okay at first until it gets to me that i gotta stop it too and then it's it's continuously building up so then everybody's stopping it I mean, we're usually doing quick stops, but still, like, it becomes a lot. Like, it be so many packages, y'all. I wish I could show y'all, but you can't record inside. But, yeah, so it's good to keep the belt running. If you can keep that belt running, keep that belt running and try to grab your stuff as fast as possible. And then supervisors, listen, they are always on different pages, like, 
they will tell you a bunch of different things and you like bro but they just told me this they told me that or sometimes they will tell you something different they just told you like they'll fuss about you having to stop the belt to do something but then if you start missing packages then they'll fuss about that like and it's like okay what do you want me to do do you want me to fairly go through this or do you want me to grab as many as i can and let the belt keep running because it's like we're all new up here like and then my thing is the supervisors get up there too and they make mistakes. And it's like, okay, y'all fuss at us for not doing it. We only been here for a month, but y'all been here for over a year and y'all still make that mistake when it gets busy. Y'all still, stuff still get past y'all too. So it's like, okay. But anyways, y'all, it's really not bad. And it really could be, um, it really could run really smoother if like, supervisors were on the same page with each other if they were on the same page as their self when they tell you something also if there were more um like loaders for the trucks because sometimes the trucks get backed up and then the boxes build up and then you're surrounded by boxes and it's like hey, hey like or sometimes you trying to tell them like okay so and so number i'll say like number two number two is backed up and then don't nobody come, you still, you getting a whole bunch of packages and there's a bunch of packages up here. And it's like, I don't have nowhere else to put packages. Like I told y'all that this belt was, not this belt, but this chute was getting filled up and nobody came. Now y'all coming, but now it ain't no space. And so then you get backed up because you don't have nowhere to put nothing. So then you got to quickly stop the belt to just pull stuff off y'all. It's really be stressful when it doesn't have to be stressful. And I don't we're not even the biggest hub in Virginia. Oh not in Virginia, in Richmond. But I don't know if all like hubs are like that, like what seem like supervisors are on different pages. But it's just like, um or if you and also y'all, if y'all need help ask for help like don't let that belt get crazy and then ask for help like sometimes i ask for help for the person at the top of the belt because if they don't get it right it makes it harder for me and so i'm like um can we get help at the top of the belt because that helps like with the splitting because sometimes people are like embarrassed to ask for help but then it gets busy and then it messes it up for the entire line so let them know if it's getting crazy up there because they can't see they don't know what the packages are really looking like up there. Like, they need y'all to tell them um, if you see a bunch of a certain city so they can move people to those trucks to help um, put the, you know, put the uh, boxes on the truck. Um, yeah, they need to know because they can't see it. So, we got to let them know if it gets busy. So, ask for help if you need help. Um, even if you need somebody to come up there and help you get the packages because it's rather it be right then a bunch of like the packages be wrong and then it gets to the person who got to throw them down a recycle because the recycle gets backed up too and that is annoying and y'all i'm just really glad that i'm not on that part of the belt anymore that i was at because that lady sometimes like how i used to tell y'all that the box is stacked up around me they get stacked up around her too and it's like what are y'all doing like she needs help like the head supervisor he'll be like yelling like go help so-and-so so like one day he was like i think they just like he was talking about the training supervisor he was like i think they like to see the boxes stock up around y'all because <laughs> they be coming at the last minute but honestly y'all it's really not that bad um do i see myself here forever i do not um it Ha, that's funny. That's a UPS truck now. It is a lot on your body. Like, I got um carpal tunnel in my hands. Last time I had carpal tunnel, I was pregnant. It was caused from my pregnancy. And I'm not pregnant this time, like, whatsoever. But I have to wear my gloves some nights. So I always wear the right one because my right hand is always, like, the worst. Um, But I was wearing both of them, like, a week ago to work because my hands were hurting so bad. But... I gotta do this so it's like whatever um 
some like my shoulders was hurting at the last now that i'm in my new spot i don't get those bruises like i showed y'all in the uh, past videos so i don't have those kind of bruises i might have like one or two bruises at the top of my thigh like when i'm leaning but i don't have like those big huge bruises that i was having all across the top of my thighs and on my uh shins and stuff i don't get those bruises um I also like my feet like my heel the back of my heel hurts i don't know what that's called like what injury that is but that hurts um like on my off days i can feel it or like before i go to work i can feel it so like it puts a lot of wear and tear on your body um yeah so be careful there because you definitely can't get hurt those are the position, like I said, that I'm in, those are big packages. So you, there's a lot of lifting and pushing and like hurrying up and doing something. Like sometimes like a package will like hit your finger and that crap's hurt, especially when you have carpal tunnel in your hand now. Um, like it'll like flick my finger to the side and it hurts so bad, but you got to keep moving because it's constantly packages coming. Um, the best advice I have for y'all is if you need help, ask for help like do not be embarrassed to ask for help because they're gonna fuss at you if the stuff goes past and like granted nobody has necessarily like yelled at me um but the lady was like um one day she was like joy i see a bunch of like so and so packages coming down here it was a lot of this too and it was like okay well you just told me when i was stopping the belt really fast to try to get them you was asking okay why is the belt off now when i try to hurry up and get it and i'm missing some now you fussing about packages being you know like wrong so y'all just do what keeps you saying if you need to stop the belt really quick do stop it but do not leave the belt off long like do a um a stop where you like pull it push it in like pull it out push it in and push the green button it'll stay off for about 10 seconds that way and get as many as you can and if you need to do it again go ahead but to stop it and just like go like that is that's really bad for you and everybody on the line because that stops the bell for too long and then they're continuously stacking um packages at the bottom because if you keep a steady flow it keep like you won't have anxiety doing your stuff like it might be a point with a whole bunch of packages but it won't be like stacked up packages and like pals because it will turn into like a whole pal that they sitting on top of each other and you got to sort through like that so and you can tell when it's about to get like that i'm glad that everybody gets to see how it is in different positions on the belt because i used to get mad at the people in front of me because I'm like, what are y'all doing? And then now I'm there. I'm like, okay, it's not as easy as it seems. And now that lady who I was telling y'all um at the end, who's in my old position, um when she used to be at the top, like sometimes they wouldn't sort my packages good, and I would be upset at them. And now that she's right there, she gets mad if it's not sorted right and i'm like well now you get to see how it was for me when you were up here no it's not intentional but you get to see how it is so it's like try to make it easier for the person at that position because like i try to make it easier because i know how it is to be right there and i know how it is when those boxes get stacked up so yeah y'all so it get crazy it definitely gets crazy but um some things could be switched to make it not get as crazy as it gets but just know that even if it does get crazy you gonna make it through because like it'll seem like when you see like all those packages stacked up it's like oh my gosh it this is like it's over and then it calms down and everything gets sorted through and it's fine so just know that it always can get sorted through and be fine don't be afraid to ask for um help especially when you're new um they don't treat you like you are new they leave you really quickly um but if you need help if it gets really busy ask for help like i'm gonna keep on saying that like ask for help if you need help they do like games so i won this bag I, oh my what about i won this ups bag 
I also won a lunchbox. It's super cute. It's like a olive green lunchbox that has that says UPS in black. Yeah, so they do a little game sometimes. Sometimes you coming in, they will ask you like the safety questions. And you answer it, they'll like offer you some candy. And I, I don't, I don't eat no candy, so I'm like, no, thank you. Or they offer you like a bottle of water. I'm like, no, thank you, because I always bring my own water. Um. And y'all know why, because of the last video, y'all know why I bring my own water bottle because I have a certain preference for what kind of water bottle that I want to use at work, specifically at that job. So, yeah, y'all, that is it. Um, The only other thing that for my, you know, my one month update, y'all know it's still COVID, still the pandemic. So, they do make us wear a mask, but I was wearing my, my mask regardless anyway. But then once I get to my section, like... The supervisor was like, oh, you don't have to wear your mask. And, like, the supervisors don't be having their mask on. So, I don't really care for that. I don't like when they uh, just come up behind me um, without their mask on. Because I take my mask off once I get to the top to my position. Because it's just me up there now that I'm not in, you know, training anymore. So, I don't be having my mask, like, up. And so, if I don't know that they're coming, I don't have time to grab my mask because I don't be knowing they're coming. And I turn around and it's like, oh, Joy, time to ask you these questions for your uh, little, like, uh, not, like questionnaire, like, uh, thing. So, yeah, that's the only thing. I don't like them not wearing masks because I don't know who, um, you know, I don't know what they do outside of work. Um, and I don't really care if they are vaccinated or not because everybody can get COVID. And even if they are vaccinated, they could have COVID and not be showing symptoms and then give it to me. And now I'm sick. So, yeah. So I don't play about that. And I told them, I was like, no, I want to wear my mask because I have a toddler at home and I need to be as careful as I can. Um, but yeah, y'all. So that is my one month update. It definitely gets crazy, but like I said, like at the end of the night, like, like okay, it's not that bad. Um, certain nights are worse than others, like crazier. Like our Tuesdays and Wednesdays are our most busiest nights, and on those nights, it's like the belt is always full. And another thing is, like I said, like supervisors will act like it's like super easy. And then when they get in that position to have to help y'all, they make mistakes too. So don't feel like, don't feel bad about it. Like just continue, you continuously practice every night. So just try to do your best, do the best you can. Quickly stop the belt if you need to, to get your packages. And then, yeah, just do what you need to do. So that is my one month update and i'll see you guys in the next video comment down below if you have any more questions um for any more like videos you might want to see about like this new work process or whatever but anyway i think i said everything if you guys want um another update in a few months let me know but yeah y'all that is all and i'll see you guys in the next video bye